friends my name is arun kishor volati and welcome to my channel learn deep we are currently in python playlist in my previous video we have discussed about how to create a list and how to access elements in the list so in this video let's try to focus on how to slice a list and let's try to understand why list is mutable so without wasting any time let's get started so let's declare a list like list is equals to 1 2 and 4 But I want my third element as three. So what I can do is I can simply say list of two is equals to three. Now if I print my list, I am going to get one, two, and three. So the point here is when you declare a list with some values, and if you want to alter a value in the middle, you can perform it. The reason is list is mutable. I'll deal with strings in my later videos, but then I'll just show you an example like. Instead of hi, what I'll do, what I'll do is h o. Now I want it has h i, so I can access my second element as s of one, but I can't change my second element as s of one is assigned with i. So if I try to change this, it is going to throw me an error saying that str object does not support item assignment. The reason is strings are immutable, whereas lists are mutable, so that we can change values in the middle. Which will be very useful while doing sorting, where we have to swap the values inside a list. So this is all about why lists are mutable. Now let's try to understand how to slice a list. So for that purpose, I am going to take a list like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now what I'll try to do is I'll try to acquire sub parts of this list. So how to get sub parts of this list? Let's say something like I want to get I want only one, two, three, and four from this list. So what I can do? I can say a list of zero plus a list of one plus a list of two plus a list of three, and again keep them as a list. Keep individual elements inside a list. So now we have taken four lists, and we are going to. Add these four lists to get a final outcome. Yeah, they okay, have declared three two times. So in this manner, we are going to get the first four elements. But then, is it really necessary to perform these many times list concatenation? No. Instead, we can directly slice this list till these four elements, and we call it as list slicing. list slicing will have three parameters and it is going to represent in the form of a subscript for this list so if i want to slice a list i have to say list inside subscript here i have three parameters separated by two columns the first parameter is starting value which is by default 0 and the second parameter is ending value which is by default the last index position if i say i have eight elements Then the last value would be eight, and the third parameter is step size, and by default the step size will be one. So these are the three key parameters we need to remember while slicing. And the third parameter is optional. If we want to write step size, then we can write, and if not, it is not necessary. So now let us just try to slice this list till one, two, three, and four. And my starting index is always zero, so I doesn't require it to specify. My ending index will be zero, one, two, and three. So I need list till three elements. So I have to specify four because the last index value will be omitted. So if I say list of column four, I am going to get one, two, three, and four, and this single piece of line is going to replace this entire block of code. And if I want five, six, seven, and eight, what I can do is I can say list of four column. So I need values from fourth index till the ending of the list. So I can simply say list of four column, which is going to give me all the remaining elements. So what if I want this one, two, seven, and eight? So I can simply say list of as the starting index is zero, it is no need to specify, and any till two. So I have to specify list of column two plus list of I need seven and eight. So I have to specify. Six column, so I'm going to get one, two, seven, and eight. In this way, we can access sub parts of a list. So let us try to understand the third parameter, step size. 
now i want list from starting value to ending value but then instead of giving step size as one so first first uh, let's just give step size as one and see we are getting that list directly so now i want to alter the step size to two so i'm going to jump one value ahead i'm going to take first value and i'm going to make a jump to third value I'm going to make a jump to fifth value and I'm going to make a jump to seventh value. So what if I give this step size as three, it is going to jump two values at a time. So I'm taking first value and jumping these two values and I'm getting third value. So in this way, we can slice a list based on this last parameter. So what is the importance of this last parameter? We can reverse a list directly by using this step size. Instead of taking step size as one, what we can do is we can take the step size as minus one so that the list will be read from the start ending to starting. So I'll just show it to you. Instead of giving three, what I'm doing is I'm giving minus one, which is going to reverse my list. So the original list is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if I write list of double colon minus one, I'm going to get the reverse value of this list. So where exactly we are going to use this slicing. So let us say I have another list. LST is equals to 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 4 and 5. So in between these 9 and 10 are really looking awkward, right? I have 1, 2, 3, again 4 and 5. These 9 and 10 are need not to be placed inside the list. So what I want to do is I want to delete, delete this 9 and 10. So for that purpose, what I can do is I can use del statement, which is going to take a list as a parameter and it is going to delete that list. So what if I give direct list to this del statement and if I try to print this list, it is going to show that the list is not defined because this del statement has completely eliminated this list from the memory. And what we can do is we can slice our list to required values and we can give it to del as a parameter. Now what I want to do is I want to delete this 9 and 10 only. So this 9 is in index 3 so I can give index 3 and 10 is in index 4 and the last index will be omitted so I have to give 3 colon 5. So if I do this and if I print list I am going to get 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So in this way we can slice a list into its sub. What if we have a problem like we want to get values at odd index positions? Again, it's the same scenario. By using slicing, we can do it easily just by varying the step size. So my list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And the odd index values are 2, 4, 6, and 8. So what I can do is I can say list of here I am going to alter the starting index from 0 to 1 and the ending index will be last index of the list and I'm going to take step size as 2. By doing this, I am going to get all odd index positions. The reason is, I am going to start at index 1 and I am going to jump to the second value to its immediate right. So, I am going to jump this value and I am going to read its second value. So, in this way, we can directly get few operations on this list. And there are two basic important operations and we call them as rotating a list which can be done easily using this slicing. So, let us take an example that I want this list to be rotated to right side. So when I rotate this list to right side, what I'm going to have is I'm going to eight, I'm going to have eight in the front position and the remaining list in the next position. So what I want to do is I want to rotate this list to right side. So what I can say, I can simply say, I want this last element, but then I want this last element as a list. So what I can say is list of seven column. This 8 is present in this 7th index. So I want from the 7th index till the end of a list as a list. I'll try to print this and then I'm going to get 8 as a list. So what I'll do is I'll go, I'll add this list 8 to all the remaining elements except 8. What I'll do is I'll just do list of colon 7. So if I do this, I am going to rotate this list to right side. Similarly, what if I want to rotate this list to left side? I want all elements except one. So what I can say is 
list of one column so i'm going to get all these elements and i want only first element list of column one so if i do this i am going to rotate my list to left side not only by one element if i want to rotate my list with four elements let us say and to the right side so what i can do is i can simply say instead of taking seven what i can do is i can take four here and i also replace the seven with four then i am going to have a rotated list with four elements to the right side and similarly we can do it for left side so in this way rotation will be very easy if i use list slicing so that's all for this video the summary is we have discussed why lists are mutable and how to access a list using slicing so in the next videos what we'll do is we have already got the concept regarding how to create a list how to append values to a list how to alter values in the middle so from the next videos we will discuss all the sorting techniques which are available to us and which are important while doing programming assessments thank you and meet you in my next video